Women in their reproductive years are most likely to get bacterial vaginosis, but it can affect women of any age. The cause isn't completely understood, but certain activities such as unprotected sex or frequent douching increase your risks. Hello guys and welcome to Microbiology Insider. If you are new to this channel, I do videos about disease caused by microorganisms and microbiology lectures in general. Before I ride on, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know. In this video, we will be covering the following objectives. What is bacterial vaginosis? Symptoms of bacterial vaginosis? Causes of bacterial vaginosis? Complications associated with bacterial vaginosis? How to prevent bacterial vaginosis? And how bacterial vaginosis can be diagnosed? Bacterial vaginosis is a common vaginal infection that happens when some normal bacteria that lives in the vagina overgrows, causing a bacterial imbalance. Many women with bacterial vaginosis have no signs or symptoms, but when present, they include a thin, gray, white or green vagina discharge foul-smelling, fishy vagina odor, vagina itching, and burning during urination. Bacterial vaginosis results from overgrowth of one of several bacteria naturally found in your vagina. Usually, good bacteria, the lactobacilli, outnumber bad bacteria, the anaerobes. But if there are too many anaerobic bacteria, they upset the natural balance of microorganisms in your vagina and cause bacterial vaginosis. Risk factors for bacterial vaginosis include Douching The practice of rinsing out your vagina with water or a cleansing agent upsets the natural balance of your vagina. This can lead to an overgrowth of anaerobic bacteria and cause bacterial vaginosis. Since the vagina itself is self-cleaning, douching isn't necessary. Natural lack of lactobacilli bacteria If your natural vagina environment doesn't produce enough of the good lactobacilli bacteria, you're more likely to develop bacterial vaginosis. Having multiple sex partners or a new sex partner. Doctors don't fully understand the link between sexual activity and bacterial vaginosis. But the condition occurs more often in women who have multiple sex partners or a new sex partner. Bacterial vaginosis also occurs more frequently in women who have sex with women. Sometimes, Having bacterial vaginosis may lead to preterm birth. In pregnant women, bacterial vaginosis is linked to premature deliveries and low birth weight babies. Pelvic inflammatory disease. Bacterial vaginosis can sometimes cause pelvic inflammatory disease, an infection of the uterus and the fallopian tubes that can increase the risk of infertility. Infection risks after gynecological surgery. Having bacterial vaginosis may increase the risk of developing a post-surgical infection after procedures such as hysterectomy or dilation and curettage. Sexually transmitted infection. Having bacterial vaginosis makes women more susceptible to sexually transmitted infections, such as HIV, herpes simplex virus, chlamydia, or gonorrhea. If you have HIV, bacterial vaginosis increases the odds that you pass the virus on to your partner. To help prevent bacterial vaginosis, minimize vaginal irritation. Use mild non-deodorant soaps and unscented tampons or pads. Secondly, don't douche. 
Your vagina doesn't require cleansing other than normal bathing. Frequent douching disrupts the vagina balance and may increase your risk of vaginal infection. Douching won't clear up a vaginal infection. Avoid a sexually transmitted infection. Use a male latex condom. Limit your number of sex partners or abstain from intercourse to minimize your risk of a sexually transmitted infection. Some of the methods which can be used to detect bacterial vaginosis include a pelvic exam. During a pelvic exam, your doctor visually examines your vagina for signs of infection and inserts two fingers into your vagina while pressing on your abdomen with the other hand to check your pelvic organs for signs that may indicate disease. Examination of vaginal secretion. This may be done to check for an overgrowth of anaerobic bacteria in your vaginal flora. The doctor may examine the vaginal secretions under a microscope, looking for clue cells, which are vaginal cells covered with bacteria that are a sign of bacterial vaginosis. Test your vaginal pH. Your doctor may check the acidity of your vagina by placing a pH test strip in your vagina. A vaginal pH of 4.5 or higher is a sign of bacterial vaginosis. We've come to the end of this video. Before you leave, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification, and follow us on all our social media handles.